Hey, it's Robert from robertsproductions.net. It's finally here. Photoshop CS4. All of our upcoming tutorials are now going to be in CS4 and the first few tutorials are going to be showing you some of the new features Adobe has included in CS4. Now if you still have CS3, CS2, any other lower versions of Photoshop, most of these tutorials will still work except for the new features. Today we're going to be learning about Content Aware Scale. Now if you go up here, it probably says Essentials by default. You can click on that and hit What's New in CS4. Select Yes and in the menus, everything that's new will be highlighted blue. Now, like I said, we're going to be focusing on Content Aware Scale. What does that do? Let me show you. Let me hit Control T and let me scale this down a little bit here. You can see this lady, she gets very thin, very skinny, almost like a line, and it does not look good. Let me scale it out, and now she's wide and fat. So, what can we do to fix this problem? Well, we can use Content Aware Scale. All you have to do is go to Edit, Content Aware Scale, it's got a big old long uh, shortcut key alt shift control C and once that is selected we can then hit alt and transform this down smaller size right around there and look at that we've transformed it all the way to just seeing her body and uh, it, it looks pretty much the same as it did Why? but now We've thinned it out and it can fit in m many more areas. You can resize it to like a 4x6, print that out. It's almost like cropping. But uh, check out what happens when we stretch it out. I stretched it out a lot. Look, there's a lot of room over here and a lot of room over here. But still, the subject is still the same size. That is Content Aware Scale in Photoshop CS4. Subscribe to see all of our upcoming Photoshop CS4 tutorials. We'll be showing you all of the new features Adobe has included in Photoshop CS4. Hope this helped. I'm Robert from Roberts Productions and until next time, take care. Remember to request tutorials only at robertsproductions.net and hit the request link.